Well, good evening, my Facebook friends around the world. Mr. Sunshine coming to you live with another spectacular snackaroo served up by Paul El Feo and Four Brothers Italian Restaurant. As you can see, get a load of what we've got going on here. You know, it's a little hard for me right now. It's a little hard for Mr. Sunshine to sit here and look at all this delicious, gorgeous goodness and not share it with the Facebook friends around the world. But I'm going to give you a little view of the magnitude of the size of this beautiful piece of artwork right here. There it is right there. You can see that. And we're going to, I'm sorry, Denise, it is a stromboli served up as only we can get it. Well, let me tell you something. we got a lot of material coming on right now. And uh, as we're going to sit here, we're going to, hey, man, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> what do you think it is? Huh? What do you think it is? What do you think it is, my friend? Get a load of this, huh? I'm going to unwrap the wrapper here right now. Good evening. My name is Mr. Sunshine, and I am coming to you live. As a matter of fact, i got to put this over here for a moment. It's a little jammed up. There we go. All right. All right, what we have here this evening, Mr. Sunshine, is I'm coming to you live. Uh, it's time for a little snackaroo. And you know what? Never one to disappoint. Never one to disappoint here. As a matter of fact, Alan, Alan Mitchell, you know, Alan, I want you to get a load of this, huh? I'm going to put a little light on the subject as we have it right now. And what I'm going to do right now for you is we're going to go ahead and we're going to slice this out. But before we do that, all right, we're going to cleanse the palate. That's right. we got to cleanse that palate. All right, Mr. Sunshine, we're going to use Mountain Dew, okay? I don't have any champagne today. I had more champagne than up today. All right. Oh, God, that's it. So good. All right, now let's take a look at this. We're going to set this aside. We got all that beautiful tomato sauce. Now, what we're going to do with that tomato sauce, we're going to add a little bit of, we're going to put some, see, we already have seasonings in there. You can see all that goodness. But what we're going to do is we're going to make it snow in there for all you people up north. All right, we're going to make it look like, you, as if you're looking outside, okay? This is what you're looking at. All right, we're going to put some of that in there. And then we got the fresh oregano. <laughs> some of that oregano in there uh, like that and then we're gonna put some of that crushed red pepper in there okay that's how that's gonna work out for you uh, just like that all right and then we're gonna we're gonna do we're not gonna be shaking it or stirred we're just gonna go and mixing it up like that look at that okay so now we have prepared our own concoction of Paul L. Fayo's tomato sauce all right so we're done there all right, so now let's let's talk about what we got going on here. This is a perfectly baked stromboli, all right? And what we're going to do right now, we're going to go ahead, we're going to cut that thing right open. Oh, oh. We're going to take a look at what's going on in there. As a matter of fact, i got to do this. Hold on. Greg Hudson, you know, Greg, as I sit here before you, Greg, we're going to take this open. We're going to unwrap the wrapper. Huh? Now. There you go. You can see it right in there. Look at that dripping goodness. Huh? Let's talk about what's causing all this right now. Now, you know what? We can sit here and discuss it. We can sit here until the cows come home. But right now, we're going to take it. Let's show you what a stromboli at Paul L. Fayos. Four brothers. Now, you know, I've had food, strombrolis across the world. I've been around the world how many times? I know it better than anybody. Well, let me tell you something. Here you go. Hey, Kathy Gray, you know what? I'm going to make your mouth water. You don't have to worry about that right now, okay? You don't have to worry about that. We're actually going to take some of that sauce, and we're going to introduce it to the inside. Look at that. Oh, we're going to introduce it. To that stromboli right now okay you understand there it is get a load of that yeah there you go yeah where we go we're gonna do that right now there it is okay so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna begin to do 
the devouring of this beauty. It's a masterpiece. I mean, get a load of this. I've never seen, look at that. Look at that. All of that sausage is in there, wrapped up with pepperoni, loaded with all that fresh mozzarella cheese. Look at that. It's a, it perf, cooked perfectly. It is cooked perfectly, Christopher Glenn. You know, Christopher, let me tell you something, my friend. We're going to show you exactly how Mr. Sunshine and Paul L. Fayo do things down here in South Florida. You know, we talk about New York pizza, Chicago style. We talk all of that. Yeah, 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 okay. We can talk about all you want. Well, you know what? Paul L. Fayo's family come out of New York. They brought all of their goodness. Look at this. Oh, my God, look at that. You know what? Oh, God. I'm having a little oral orgasms right now. That's how good it is. We can sit here. Look at this beauty. The sauce with Mr. Sunshine's oregano in there and his little bit of crushed red pepper along with all that cheese. Denise Roach, let me tell you something. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Personally, I would eat this stromboli. I like the. I love everything. Don't get me wrong. They're they're veal parmesan, they're chicken parmesan, Paul L. Fayo's pizza, Sicilian style, Swan style, the big eighteen incher, the whole nine yards. I'm gonna tell you what. I'd like to lean toward the stromboli, for the mere fact that it's in that Baker's Pride five hundred degree oven. And it just cooks it perfectly. I'm going to show you that in just a moment. Here, you're going to get some of that. All right. Yeah. I want you to look at this. Look at that. There's a hell of a lot of goodness served up here right now, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what we're going to do... Take that beautiful handmade dough. Oh, the handmade dough, the fresh mozzarella cheese. Oh, yes. I'm telling you what. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, in the next 30 minutes, in the next 30 minutes, anybody wants to come here, I will buy their dinner. Okay. Can you bring me another one? So I, Because I got to leave that on that cup yeah, right there. another Mountain Dew? Yeah, bring me another one. Yeah. In the next 30 minutes, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sunshine will buy your dinner here at Four Brothers Italian Restaurant. It's located on Forest Hill Boulevard, just west of I-95, just before the behind the Dunkin' Donuts here in the Forest Hill Plaza. So if you think you're ready, if you got time, I don't care. Come in your nightgown, come in your shorts, come in, come in later looking like Jethro Bodine. In 30 minutes, I'll buy your dinner if you want to come on down. All right, Mr. Sunshine's not going to sit here and then feast on this beautiful stromboli. We'll get you a stromboli. That's right. We'll get you whatever they get it, whatever you want. We're going to make it all good. Look at the cheese. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. You want to say hello to my friends here? Come on. Come on over. Say hello to my friends. Mm. Now, for those of you that are asking, Mr. There we go. So, you know, if you want to come down here, I'm going to buy your dinner. We'll get you all set up. You'll be saying, oh, Mr. Sunshine, it tastes so good. Damn right, it's going to taste good. It's going to taste damn good. Nancy Hobbs. Hey, Nancy. You know, Nancy, let me, let me, let me tune you into something, Nancy. Daddy's going to tune you into something. I know you guys are all watching your football game. I'm sure you're watching. I'll get a load of this. Look at this. Look at the size of that strumpoli. Look at my sauce. Look at that custom made sauce right there. We got a lot of goodness going on here. We got mushrooms in here. Loaded with mushrooms. Powder bella mushrooms. Those are magic mushrooms. We got it all piled up in here. Look at that. The sausages. The cheese. The pepperoni. Look at it all piled up in there. Well, let me tell you something. Nancy. Nancy. 
Here's the deal is I do every day, every day. Then the next 30 minutes, you come on down here, you sit down, I'll put your chair for you. We'll get you something to drink. I'll buy your dinner today. I'm going to buy your dinner if you come down here in the next 30 minutes. No, I'm going to tell you. There ain't nothing better than a fantastic stromboli, okay? When you're eating a stromboli, like, we're going to actually put a little bit of that sauce in there. See that? We're going to dip it in that sauce over there. Mmm. I swear to God, that's got to be the best stromboli since the last time I had one here, which was about a week ago. You know, we can sit here. And you, this is a meal in itself. This is a meal in itself. I mean, from the bread. Look at that. Look at the way it's cooked. Look at Baker's Pride. Okay. We can talk all you want about pizza ovens, okay? You can talk about the rolling one like they have over there. And all of the dominoes and all of that. You need a Baker's Pride oven. If you walk into a pizza joint and if they have the Baker's Pride oven, well then guess what? You are already went up a notch in my book. If you've got the conveyor belt that runs it through there like a mass production, guess what? It's not going to fly. All right? It's not the same thing. You're not going to get that cooked on both sides. But 500 degrees bacon from the top. And from the bottom, it just melts it all together, okay? Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, 25 minutes. 25 minutes. Anybody pulls in here in the Palm Beach County area, I'm going to buy your dinner for you, okay? Mm. No. Robin Pant, Robin Pant, hey Robin, you want to get a load of the world of fashion, huh? You know, Robin, I watch your videos, I watch your Facebook fashion show, the illustrious Robin Canton in all her beauty and all her grandeur. Well, you know what, Robin, I'm showing you a little tonight. You want to see, while well, you're showing everyone the world of fashion, let's bring you a little fashion of here, huh? Let's talk about the world of goodness tonight. This is a stromboli served up woo, by Mr. Paul El Feo and the Four Brothers Italian Restaurant. I want you to hear. I'm going to zoom in for you. Here, we're going to zoom in. Look at that melted goodness in there. The homemade sausages, the pepperonis in there, the mozzarella cheese, and all that goodness, okay? Well, let me tell you something, Robin. Let me tell you something. You may have the show of the world of fashion. No, no question about it. You're the queen of the hill, okay? You're the queen, no question. You're bringing the whole world, the world of fashion, as only Robin can can do it. Well, you know what? Tonight, you know, Robin, if you were here right now, I'm telling you, you got 20 minutes right now, 20 minutes. You go on down here in the next 20 minutes, I'm going to buy your dinner. I'm going to put you on camera. You come in here wearing that Chanel hat you got going on and that body and all of that. You come on down, we're going to put you on camera, and we're going to put one of these big strampolis right in front of you. You want veal parmesan? We'll get you veal parmesan. You want chicken? We'll get you fit. You want tour of Italy? Whatever you want, okay? Mm. Now, so there, hey, Claude. Hey, Claude. While you're sitting there watching your football game, okay? When you're sitting there watching all, I don't even know who the hell is playing over there. I don't care. Here, Claude, I'm going to reminisce of what you got going on up there. Here's my rendition. Here's my rendition of snow. There you go, bro. You see it snowing? Huh? You see the snow? There's your snow. Maybe you want a little hail coming down. You want some hail? Well, guess what? I'm going to give you some hail, too. And maybe you want some of this. We're going to give you some of this, too. There you go. There you go. Here, give me a double fist, double pumper. There you go. Okay, you understand what I'm talking about? Hey, Claude. You know, Claude, you want to come down here, Claude? Let me tell you something, my friend. Here you go, Claude. Let me, let me, 
tune in for you, my friend. Here, here you go, Claude. Robert Witten. You know, Robert, look at what we got. You know, Robert, you're going to find yourself sitting right over there. Robin, Robin, you're going to sit right here. Okay, Robin, you're going to sit right here next to me. Robert Witten's going to sit over there, and Claude Sainz is going to sit over there. Okay, we're going to put the gentleman over there. And you know what? Gentlemen, I'm sorry. I like you, but I like Robin Canton more. So, Robin, you're going to sit right here with yours truly, Mr. Sunshine. I'm going to spoon feed you. Claude, Robert, look at this. That's all man right there. Look at that beauty, huh? Look at that. Shad Matthews, get a load of what we got going on here. This is the Stromboli served up at Four Brothers Italian Restaurant. Well, guess what? We're going to do this. Saad, Saad, I'm going to give you 15 minutes. We're down to 15 minutes. Anybody that wants to come in here tonight within the next 15 minutes, I'm going to buy your dinner, okay? I'll get your menu. You can eat whatever you want. I don't care what you order. Mm. Mm. This is like giving you little oral orgasms, okay? Between the, the, the sausages, between the pepperoni, between that fantastic homemade bread, that mozzarella cheese, and that special sauce. As a matter of fact, we're going to put some more of that sauce in there. Here you go. Look at that, huh? Oh, boy. You know, for those of you who have been tuned in to Mr. Sunshine, it's hard for me. Okay? It's hard. There ain't a day that goes by that it ain't hard for me. Okay? We're sitting here at the swimming pool. I got a little brown sugar going on today, huh? But let me tell you something. It takes a lot of work to be able to sit here and eat all this fantastic food. Mm. Hey, Joe. Oh, my buddy, Joe. Hey, Joe. Joe, you got 12 minutes. 12 minutes to come down here to Four Brothers Italian Restaurant. You come on down, I'm going to buy your dinner tonight, pal. Now you look at that stromboli, my friend. Look at what we got going on. Joe, I'm telling you how it's going to go down. Huh? Joe, I'm going to reset the timer. I'm going to give you 17 minutes, okay? We were kicking it down. 17 minutes. You come on down. I don't care if you're wearing your shorts and your flip-flops, okay? I don't care at this particular point in time. You come on down, I'm gonna buy your dinner here at Four Brothers Italian Restaurant, okay? I'm gonna make everything good for everybody involved. There you go, look at this. Look at that. Oh my God, look at that. I'm telling you what, my friend. That hot pepper, those crushed red peppers are really good. Woo! We gotta wash that down a little bit. I don't have, I'm sorry, I don't have any champagne tonight. There's no champagne. We're drinking Mountain Dew, okay? So between the bread, the Mountain Dew, the cheese, we're gonna have a big time sugar rush tonight, okay? We're gonna have a big sugar rush, that I promise you. Now, Joe, I'm over here at the brand new Ford Brothers Italian Restaurant. We're located right here on Forest Hill Boulevard at the Forest Hill Plaza, just west of I-95. So if you want to come on down, bring your wife. Bring your wife. I'll buy her dinner, too. Okay, you bring them down. I'm going to buy them dinner. We're going to sit here, and we're going to show you exactly. Oh, look at this. Oh, boy. This is what it's all about. Tony Malia. Oh, Tony. The man, the myth, the legend. Hey, Tony. Now, for all of my friends out there, Tony Malia's dad, the big daddy Malia himself, he owned the Little Caesars Pizza franchise. He was one of the first. Back in 1960s, he was the guy that made pizza go round and round in the Detroit metropolitan area okay tony malia was the man he was the man he, he came from italy he come over here he bought the franchises he was the man that when i used to go into little caesar's 
when I was a little sunshine about that big, all right, back in 1969, 1970, with the hippies. Remember the hippies with the long hair and all of that going on? And they would sit there and I'd watch them spin those pizzas up and around. The real Little Caesars. I ain't talking about what the garbage you're selling today. I'm talking the real deal. Well, Tony, I'm going to bring you here, Tony. Tony, here you go, Tony. I'm going to bring you, here's my stromboli tonight. As a matter of fact, let me show you. Tony, you're going to know what this is. Tony, there it is. The Baker's Pride Oven. There it is, the 500 degree Baker's Pride. The original, the one and only, the only thing that makes things go round and round as far as a pizza oven, the real deal. Baker's Pride. And there's our buddy over there, Paul El Feo. Over there, he's cooking up pizzas, but there it is right there. Read it. There it is. There it is. Baker's Pride Pizzas, the original oven as well. Let me tell you something, Daddy. Tony, I know we're traveling around the world. You, I saw you eating your chili and sea bass today. I saw you eating that breakfast down there. You're at the Four Seasons. You're at the W over at the West. And you're traveling around. And that Tony Malia bliss of yours. Well, let me tell you something, Daddy. You're going to come on down here. You're going to be here in a few more weeks. You're going to be mine, pal. You know what, Tony? While our friend's up in Michigan in that ice and snow, I'm seeing Scott Sims. I'm seeing Sandra Trinity. I'm seeing Don Bagley. I'm seeing everybody up there. And all you know what they're seeing up there, Tony? This is what they're seeing. This is what they're seeing, Tony. Okay? For me, I can't get enough Romano cheese. Not Parmesan. We're talking Romano, the good stuff, okay? And as it's coming down up there in Detroit and in the Novi and Shelby Township and all of that, we're sitting down here eating this in 75-degree 70, weather up there. Mmm. Tony, that Stromboli come out about this big. It's about that big, Tony. I'm telling you what, my friend. Mm. Tony, this is how we do it. Joe, I'm going to give you 10 minutes because I'm going to be done here in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. You come on down. I'm going to buy your dinner tonight. I'm telling you, don't hesitate. Bruce going. No, bro. Tony Malia, we got the best mozzarella in here. Pepperonis, the homemade sausage. They make their own sausages here, you know. Mmm. Mm. I'm telling you what. I'm Tony Malia in a baker's pride oven. You know they're cooked at 500 degrees. The perfect temperature in a baker's pride. They cook it evenly from the top to the bottom and work it on its on the inside out. It's no conveyor belt, none of that crap. This is the real deal. Next time I've done many videos of being over there when they were creating their pizza pie. They're just not making a pie. It's a masterpiece, okay? They're creating a masterpiece, all right? Each one of them pies that come out of that oven is a master. It actually could be sitting in the Louvre in Paris under glass, all right? That's the kind of pizzas you're going to get coming out of here. I'm telling you what, no question about it. Claude? You know, Claude, let me tell you something, my friend. Claude, be careful what you wish for. Be careful what path you seek. Be careful what you seek in life. You know why, Claude? A lot of people say, hey, Sunshine, I'm coming down. I want you to take me around. Down. Go ask. Go ask Tony Malia. That's why he's coming down for this. He's gonna. He's already made measurements for six times, okay? He's already coming down every month for the next six months. Go ask Dominic Mazza. He's already, he came down for the weekend, 
we took him over to so many times, from one end of the town to the next. He's actually moving down here. He's going to be staying in the guest house with the private swimming pool at the mansion. Compliments of yours truly. Okay, so if you think you're ready, Claude, if you think you're ready, come on down. I'm, I've got a lot of this for you. We're going to give you some of this. All right, we're going to bring you some of that. We're going to bring you everything. All right, by the time I'm done with you, Claude. Mm -hmm. Sunshine, no more. No more sunshine. You're too much man. I can't eat no more. Oh, don't you worry. Because the more you cry, the more we're going to shove down your throat. I promise you. Hey, Tony, get a lot of this stuff. Ah, we're going to talk about the world of fashion right now. How am I looking right now, Tony? If I'm going to come in here live, I can't come in here, I can't come in here looking like some hillbilly Jim sitting here telling you, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. you ought to try some of this pizza, uh -huh, uh -huh. pretty good, uh -huh. it's the way mama used to make it, uh -huh. I'm on a farm, uh -huh. that ain't going to happen, all right, I'd have about two videos, two viewers, and they'd be cutting me off in a heartbeat, all right? Don't work that way. Hey, Delane River. Okay. I got some of the most beautiful women to ever grace God's green earth around this feed right now. Oh, Shannon and Neil. Oh, Shannon. Let me tell you something, honey. What you have to review the film footage in order to get the whole picture as to what's going on down here. Okay, let me tell you, we had a whole stromboli. We ate the whole thing. We're actually going to finish this one tonight. We're going to finish the whole thing. Let me tell you, Shannon. Kay, Kay Rivers, you're up there in the Carolinas. Let me tell you something. You come on down here. We're going to give you some of this. We're gonna dip it in there like that, and Miss Rivers, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fork feed you, okay? I'm gonna fork feed you. Open wide, open wide, come on. And Claude, you're gonna sit over there, and I'm gonna make you watch. You're gonna watch me fork feed Miss Rivers. You're gonna see me fork feed. Kathy Gray, you're going to see me play. Hey, Philip. Hey, Philip. Let me tell you something, Philip. I'm coming to you live right here at the Four Brothers Italian Restaurant. We got Paul Alfeo back there. I just finished up. Go. Mm. That's got to be the best stromboli. I'm telling you what you're ever, you're ever going to eat. I promise. Hey, man. What's going on, buddy? Look at you. I'm sitting here savoring this num the best stromboli. I'm telling you what. Oh, my God. It's so, so good. Oh, I want to tell you one time. You know what it's all about. You know what it's all about. Oh. So, you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I'm uh, Five minutes. I'm giving you five minutes. All right? Of all your Facebook friends from around the world. I offered 30 minutes, you come on down, I'll buy your dinner. All right, well, right now we're at the five minute mark, right now. Five minutes, you still got a few minutes to race in here. Joe, I know you're up to see, you wanna come in? Five minutes, I'm gonna buy your dinner, whatever you want. Whatever you want. Oh my God, this is so good. Mm. Oh, hey, darling. My dear. How can you make me a cannoli, like instantly? Yeah. Real fast? Yeah. Send it out right now. Yeah, no Send it out. They're ready for it. Bye. It's going to be cannoli. Hey, hey, Tony. Hey, Tony. You and I. Being the Italians, you know cannolis. You know cannoli. I know cannoli. Paul Elfeo knows cannoli. Well, let me tell you something. We're going to get one out here just like that.
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that stromboli stretched from one end of that plate to the next. It took up the whole plate, and it's all gone. Now, Lord, Lord, let me tell you something, my friend. There's been a statement made today talking about Italian cannolis. Well, let me tell you something, pal. You're going to see one here in just a few minutes when they bring it out here. So now, we're going to wait a few minutes. We're going to let the old tongue and all the goodness in there. It's all simmering right now. That's right. Your tongue has having little oral orgasms. It's just sitting there bubbling around in there. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Shannon, let me tell you something. I am not going to come on this feed... Wearing some funky looking holy beat up blue jeans or some soup stained shirt or coming in here with some tennis shoes with all kind of beats. It, it ain't happening. I'm sorry, but it's not going to happen. I'm not going to come out here and try to tell the whole world of sunny South Florida of getting the best pizza, getting the best properties, getting the best food, getting the best cannolis, and I'm not going to try to look good, okay? That's not going to happen that way, all right? We're going to make sure. We try to keep with the world of fashion. If you if you need the world of fashion, you can go see Miss Catton over there. Miss Catton's going to show you the world of fashion on her Facebook page. She sells some of the most beautiful clothes and accessories that I've seen in a long, long time. And I've seen them all. Okay. So we're going to get, we're going to have that cannoli come out here in just a few minutes. We actually had a cannoli contest last week. Uh, we had the illustrious... Leo J. Matthew here, uh, and we had a cannoli. Uh, whoever came up with the best way to eat a cannoli, okay? And uh, we had a we we had a winner. That's right. We text all the winners and we let them all know because everybody's a winner. That's right. Everybody that knows how to eat a cannoli, whether they're gonna suck it out, whether they're gonna just take it and deep throat the whole thing, whatever you got, it was everybody was a champion, okay? You were ladies, you were all champions. I can tell you that right now. Now, Denise Rocha, we had plenty of winners, okay? We had plenty of winners. Oh, here we go. Oh, come on. Look at this. Oh, here you go. Tony, if you're still on board with me here, here you go. Look at this. We're going to put a little light on the subject. Look at the cannoli. Look at this. I'm going to look at here. Boy, look at that. Look at that. There it is. Look at it. Oh, 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 oh. oh boy. Oh boy. Look at that, huh? Well, let me tell you something. Robin. Let me tell you something, Robin. Cindy Rose. Robin Ken. You damn right, Robin Ken's got it. If you're gonna talk about the world of fashion. Whether we're talking about the clothes, whether we're talking about the accessories, handbags, whatever it may be, Robin Kenton, woo, is the place to be. Okay, now, let's talk about what we got going on here. Now, ladies, let, let me wait right now. Hold on before we even get started. Now, ladies, I don't want you to get all excited right now, okay? I'm going to show you a nice, big, fat cannoli, all right? Now, wait, wait a minute. I'm not looking at all these text messages coming. Come on, I'm not taking my clothes off right now, okay? Can't you see I'm doing a live video? Already, she's telling me, oh, why don't you take your clothes off? I ain't taking my clothes off, all right? We're, we're in a G-rated, we're in a G-rated video going to PG and maybe to R just like that, okay? We, we, we gotta play, I don't wanna get cut off, all right? Come on. Already, you, 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 sunshine, take them clothes off. Nah, I'm not taking my clothes off. Man. All right, can't you see I'm styling and profiling for crying out loud. Now, here you go, ladies. Now, you know, gentlemen out there, and, and believe me, gentlemen, I'm using that term loosely right now, all right? Because long before Claude, long before you think you're going to be a gentleman, you got to prove it to me. Not to all these women out here. you got to prove it to me that you're going to be a gentleman when we're out and about running around from one end of the penthouse to penthouse to penthouse. But for right now, ladies, this is what it's all about. 
a nice, big, fat, cream-filled cannoli, okay? As a matter of fact, because I'm, I'm Italian, I'm, my dad's Czechoslovakian, I'm Italian. They, my, my, one of my nicknames in the Italian world is called cannoli, all right? They call me cannoli, all right? And then if I'm talking to my German friends, well, then I'm strudel, all right? So whatever, we got, but that's another story or another time. All right, so what we're going to do right now. Now, we can do one of two things with this. And ladies, I know a lot of you women out there can make this disappear just like that. All right, Claude, now don't you get excited right now, Claude. All right, you contain yourself. Compose yourself, Claude. I don't want to get you all excited wherever you're sitting at this particular point in time. All right, there it is. Okay, so now what we're going to do, I'm not, you know... I could just sit there and devour this and just be done, but I want to savor it. Uh, you know, when you get a cannoli of this magnitude, of this, but you want to savor it, okay? Every bit, every lick, every drop, okay? So what we're going to do... Mm. <laughs> mm. Ah. Oh my. As a matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take some of this. I'm going to take some of this. I'm going to put a little bit back here. I'm going to put a little bit back here. Tonight when I get over to Chesterfield and I'm dancing and one of the girls are going to be licking at you and say, Oh, Mr. Shane, you taste so good. Damn right I taste good. I'm going to taste damn good. She's going to say, Oh, my God, Eddie, you, you taste like a cannoli. Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> you may get more than you bargain for. On that dance floor. That I can promise you, okay? Ooh. Now, we got to keep this a PG video, okay? There might be children watching, okay? I don't have a time for that. Now, you got some of this. Here you go. Denise, Denise, let me tell you something, Denise. I'm wondering, you know what we're going to do one day? Next time, we, we're going to get a couple of our ladies come down here. We're going to see how much they can lick out from the end. How far will their tongue go in and pull that out? All right? And then the winner, we're going to measure it. We're going to bring a tape measure. We're going to measure. Oh, she went in about four inches. Oh, Jesus Christ. I would take it into there. We may get one that will take it all the way there. Who knows? That will be for another video for another day. Oh, Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you. Uh, now, I'd like to know if there's anybody out there can actually suck the cream out of this, okay, without breaking the shell. You can't break the shell. That would be the, anybody can and suck it and collapse the shell. you got to be able to finesse it, okay? you got to be able to finesse the cream out of that cannoli, okay? You understand? That would be a that would be a video in itself. We'll do that another day. Mm. I'm telling you, that cannoli cream has got to be some of the best cannoli cream I've ever had. I that I'm telling you what. Mm. Look at it. We got it. We got it in there pretty good way, babe. Right? How is it? Oh, this is fantastic. You can't go wrong with that. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to try to... Mm. All right. The Little Caesars King. You're the Little Caesars King. Well, guess what, my friend? I'm going to bring you down here. We're going to get a dozen cannolis here. And we're going to have a cannoli contest. Who can eat the most cannolis in a shorty? Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, boy. Mm. Mm. Darling, my dear, can I have another napkin? 
How you doing, buddy? Everything good? So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope, for those of you, nobody showed up. I would have bought you anyone's dinner. Anybody would have showed up tonight. We can try it again next time. All right. Woo. For those of you watching the football game, this was your little halftime show. I hope you enjoyed the halftime show. If you weren't watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Anyway, um, if you're thinking about coming to Sunny South Florida, Miss Sunshine will bring you here. You can experience all the food of Four Brothers. You can experience all the places at Taboo, at the Bend, at the Chesterfield, at the Leopard Lounge, at the Fairfield, wherever you want to go. We'll always bring you the best, the very best of what life has to offer. And I'm going to do my best to look good trying to do it for you each and every day. From my dear friend Robin Canton. If anybody wants to be interested in a world of fashion, Robin Canton's got her own show here on Facebook. Uh, she's got thousands of viewers. She's got thousands of beautiful items. She's going to make you look good. That's right. So if you're thinking about if you want to come to Sunny South Florida and you want to swoo, style and profile, give Robin Canton. Get on her Facebook. She's listed right there, R-O-B-B-I-N-K-A-N-T-O-N, and you get that opportunity. Tell her that Mr. Sunshine sent you. And as always, there it is, Robin Tomei Canton. You know what, Robin? The world is a much more beautiful place with you in it. So you keep showing the world of fashion. You keep getting everybody styling and profiling. And the world's going to be a more beautiful place to live with everybody involved. On behalf of Mr. Sunshine, I hope you're having a great night tonight. Enjoy the show. I'm going to come back live one more time on the way to our next destination. We're going to have a little music in the car. And we'll jam out, and that will be our evening's event. God loves you. Eddie does. Thank you for watching. Mwah.